Hi everyone, it's Nico and today we're going to be playing Sid Meier's Civilization 6 and today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to get a culture victory. So, if you guys don't know what Civ 6 is, it's almost like an online board game. You can probably just look it up, but anyway, I'm going to be showing you guys, uh, for those of you who do know, how to get a culture victory. So, here is the game, and you're going to want to start with a single player game. Let's go on King Difficulties, that's more fun. And you want to start off by choosing a civilization which actually, you know, does good in culture. <clears throat> these two are DLC, by the way, so if you own the game, you know, you're not actually going to, um, you're not going to have these guys unless you buy them. But the rest are not. The rest are all, um, are all free characters. So, we're going to be choosing, we're going to be going on a balance between two, which are, are my favorites for culture. Pericles of Greece, or Athens and Gorgo for Sparta. I've actually never played this week, so we're going to try it this game. <clears throat> and no, it's not just because I'm Greek is I'm going for the Greek characters It's because they have incredible abilities for example their Acropolis district it is perfect for a culture as you can build it a lot earlier than Excuse me. I think you can build a lot earlier than you can build uh, the normal theater districts They look cooler and also they give you more culture <clears throat> And there's also the ability for Queen Gora, which I just checked out which looks pretty cool called the Thermopylae ability Which combat victories for a culture equal to 50% of the combat strength of the defeated unit on standard speed and also for every um Every military policy, I've got an extra combat strength that can be manipulated to do, you know, really good things here. And then we have Pericles, who does who has this ability, which is why I was uh, surrounded by glory. So you can see there, plus five percent of culture per city state you are the Caesarian. Now that's that's really good, you know. I was just kind of having a really hard time deciding between the two, but I've decided because I usually I don't actually play on standard. So standard speed is about five hundred turns, uh, and that's that's maximum. Though you can complete the game away earlier, which is what we're going to try to get, go for. But, you know, uh, on quick speed, it kind of takes away the, the standard speed abilities. And Pericles, I usually play on quick speed. Or I usually play on online speed, which is actually half of the game. Half of standard speed, you know. Because I usually play it online with my friends. So, and we're not this time, so we're going to be playing Gorgo. Only thing I didn't exactly understand what, um, about Queen Gorgo and Pericles is that, you know, they have the Omega symbol for both of them. When for Queen Gorgo, she's, since she's part of Sparta, they should have had the, the Lambda symbol, but that's okay. We're gonna choose the map. We're gonna go for let's see. Uh, I usually do this map here, which is I call Greatest Earth Map. It's basically just the Earth Map, but a lot better um, and a lot more accurate. Ow, my fingernail. Uh, so we're just gonna go for Pangea this round to make it interesting, and we're gonna do all random leaders. Let's add a couple more. Just one more. We're gonna reduce the number of city states down to six because city states can be very annoying. Um, actually, no, we'll keep we'll keep it up to nine. Why not? And that's uh, it looks like everything is you know, game speed standard, starting from the H era, and then King difficulty. All right, let's start up the game. From the first stirrings of life beneath water, to the great beasts of the Stone Age. I usually wish you'd skip the this narration, but I kind of can't because I've heard this narration a far. million times. Now uh, begins your but greatest usually the game, the most important part of the game, this is where you spawn. Of civilization you see, if we were playing the Greatest Earth map, right, we'd spawn in Greece, you know, Gorgo, just uh, Queen oh, of oh, Sparta. Oh, okay, so now we're spawning in a mix of desert and uh, rainforest. Okay, this is... Uh, sure, why not? We're in, a, we're in a pretty good spot here. We have... only We only have rubber, uh, rubber. Actually, no, we have tea and horses. Okay, that's not too bad. We're still build, building a builder. Oh, there was seven point three reduction in the start. That's actually pretty good. We're gonna start off by researching pottery. Now we don't have any science with us, as you can see, which isn't too good. And also culture. Um, we have like a very small amount right now. And for for good uh, for if you want culture early on, <coughs> Rome is a pretty good idea. Since this fact that Rome doesn't have any buildings centered toward culture, their unique building is a an aqueduct, and uh, uh, Greece is the Acropolis or an Acropolis. Oh. There is our first city state. We have dis there are I, don't, I don't know how to turn types. this, this uh, t advisor off here. Because I, how do we turn it off? Hold on. Because I, I don't want to have the advisor on all the time. The, who gives the tutorials? I, I already know how to play this game, but let me find it. Interface. Language. Audio. Sorry, this will just take a second. Oh, here we go. Advisor. Disabled. All right. Oh, there we go. Nice. All right, so yeah, we just started a city state, and for the people who I said, you know, who are new to this game, how city states works is just occasionally, whether you complete civics or focuses just through influence points, which will be shown right here, you will gain an envoy. And we, we or you can also get one uh, by just finding, being the first nation to find a city state. Once you find one, 
you can send envoys there, and the more envoys you send, the more bonuses you get. Once you send three, you become, or and if you if you're the only person who has three or more city state um, envoys in the city state, you become what's known as the Caesarian, which you basically control the city state without. Oh, okay. So it seems we got barbarians over here. We're not gonna fight them now because you know obviously we're gonna die. We're gonna we're gonna go send our warriors over there, but we you know we're not gonna go actually fight them. <coughs> But we're in our chief just got to check out the area. And we're gonna put a farmer here so we can have faster uh, growth times. Well, is this a flatland? Okay, he's not gonna build a world wonder there, but let's go for hmm, let's go for the animal husband. Actually no, yeah, animal husbands. So we have nothing much except for quartz to mine around. And now we're gonna go for a settler. Yeah. That's that's a good choice. <clears throat> but basically, um, back to the thing with the, the uh, Suzerian, if you become the Suzerian, it's, it's, it, you basically control it without actually owning it. Oh, here, there's another one. So yeah, no, no, there's someone else who found it. This is an industrial one, so this is pretty good. So we should probably try to find this one. We should probably try to, you know, send more envoys here. Since this one's good for science, as you can see, look at this, we already have five, we were making 1.3 science, and now we make 5.6, just because of the bonuses here. See, plus two science here, capital. So these people, you know, it's been proven that they're already useful for us. Now let's go find more people. I wonder who sent it to Brussels. That's my question. I'm gonna have our guy sleep for now. Oh wait, actually we'll move him over here just to save time. <coughs> Sorry about those noises as well. I have Tourette's syndrome, so. Oh, yeah, yeah, it seems that there's the other civilization, even by the color palette. It's probably I'm a fond of or pigs. something. And there we go. Also, if you're wondering what these resources do, they can do a lot of things. So these are horses, right? They're known as a strategic resource. They're really the only important ones in the game. The rest are... I'll explain those in a second. Basically, horses allow you to actually, you know, get, uh, get, horse, uh, get horsemen. You see, it says requires horses. Strategic resources are like gunpowder. I mean, sorry, niter, uh, iron, and whatnot. Like here, like you see the hoplet unit. Uh, oh, never mind. I, I thought you needed iron for these. You need, yes, yeah, so it requires iron for the swordsman and for other units like uh, the bombard or whatnot. It requires niter. <coughs> so that, that's just basically explain what strategic resources do. Basically, they allow you to get units just by own. And you, yeah, sorry if I'm stuttering. Basically, you can't get a certain unit unless you have those uh, strategic resources. And this is Germany. For Germany. Okay, cool. Basically, we first found Germany. Here's their capital. We can maybe fight them later. It seems they're fighting barbarians in us. They're going to have a little hard time growing. Let's see how our borders are doing. With it. Okay, stuff is growing. Cool. We're going to be going here and harvesting this tea. Now, this is a luxury resource. What these do, these are a little bit different. So, strategic resources just allow you to build units. Luxury resources, you just kind of have them. And you can trade them to other nations for money. Now, I haven't actually played this game that much either. I haven't played, uh, uh, I know some people here haven't. So I, I think luxury resources can provide it's not just wisdom. a trade. And also, if you have a, a plantation built over them, you can, you make money off them. So that's what the luxury resources do. Basically, you build over them, and you can make a good bit of money. And also, if you trade with people, you can make a good bit of money. Now, this is what I like about Greece. You see, when you get your first kind of, uh, your first government up, which is a chiefdom, you only have two military, you have two policies, military and economic. However, with Greece, you get a wild card policy. So we're going to put the god king one here, the urban planning one here, and discipline. So we're fighting against the barbarians over here. And now look at this, we do more damage. See, it's we did a minor victory against the barbarians. That's why they killed, oh yeah, it seems that we basically both just did the same amount of damage to each other. And the border will grow soon and we'll have enough for irrigation. And we can actually maybe kill these guys, even. <clears throat> so it seems there's only one guy left here. And I don't actually know if we're going to win. Oh. Okay, we just discovered another guy. So, let's see. Can we get him? Oh, we, we have a promotion. Okay, so we're going to be getting him next turn. And there we go. We got our new settler up. And well, let's see where we're going to put our new place. So, I'm thinking we're going to try exploring down here a little bit. Uh, we're gonna build a monument in order to boost our culture because that's what we're all about in this game Just winning and getting culture We're gonna keep on exploring and then oh there we go. Okay. We found the Byzantine Empire <laughs> Hello, Basile. Basile the second actually 
<clears throat> this guy killed a bunch of Bulgarians in real life. He was a total crazy guy, but that's okay. And there we go. Looks like we won against the Barbarians. And if you're wondering what these Barbarian outposts do, usually when you find them, it's kind of like your goal to kill them as fast as possible. If you can, of course. Because basically what they'll do is they'll usually have a spearman guarding them. And they'll consistently, uh, for as long as they, you know, they live. Oh, here's Cleopatra. Hello. Okay. That's and the see, here's, uh, here's the Barbarian Summons gone. We usually, when you destroy them, you get a reward. Uh, they usually just be money. And here is a tribal village. Oh. So we just ran, ran right over. I was actually about to mention those, but basically, for as long as the barbarian summit lives, it'll be constantly producing barbarian units who don't actually have an alliance to anything. They just attack at any civilization which is there. Some nations will like you if you kill barbarians. Some I, uh, actually, I don't know if there's any nation which wouldn't like you because there's just a problem to everybody. <clears throat> and uh, you see, there's also another type of thing like that which is called tribal village. Oh, one second. Okay, Germany has denounced me for no reason. Nice. So, <clears throat> basically, the tribal villages are just friendly. They're like barbaric villages, right? But they're friendly. They won't kill you, and they're just going to sit there. They can't produce units or anything. All you can really do to them is you can just walk up to them and uh, and just and walk into their village. And when you do, the village will disappear, and you'll usually get something out of it. Usually, they'll give you money, a extra Eureka, which basically, if you're wondering what a Eureka does, is you see how this takes nine turns. You see, if you get a Eureka, you can actually finish half of this uh, this technology without even doing anything. Like for example, here I have a Eureka on writing. I've already finished half of it without even you know without even researching, it, which is pretty cool. Okay, so it says twenty turns till border growth. We are just going to simply buy this tile. Uh, and the barbarian village, we cannot fight it. We we're not strong enough, and this village is far far ahead from where we're settling, so we're not going there. <laughs> and it seems that we found something else. What does it say? Civic boost. Okay, so oh, we met a bunch of we met another city state somewhere. Where where do we meet? We met Ooh. oh Kabul. Okay, very fitting for the current timeline of the world. Then we just met Kabul. I wonder if they're under control of the Taliban. I don't know. But let's see. <coughs> okay, so we're gonna be moving our scout more. There's going something. Hopefully, what are they doing? Oh. Germany's mad at me. Why? Wait, aid. Okay. Okay, so it seems that... Wait, what is going on here? Okay, so Hattusa, I think, is mad... Okay, they're mad at me because I want to influence uh, Brussels, I think it is. Yeah. So that's not, that's not exactly good. So it seems that we're going to be going to war with uh, Brussels very, very soon. Now, we're also going to be building a Wonder of the World. These are very cool. So you can build these, right? And they look super cool. And also, they give you abilities. So this one is the Hang Garden to Babylon. We're going to construct right there. <clears throat> when you construct it, it will give you what was the ability increases growth by 15% in all cities That's pretty useful, you know So we're gonna build that we'll probably just, you know, buy a builder if we can do we even have the money for that? No, we do not have any money close to that now. We're gonna go find somewhere to settle down Oh, There's a new village a uh, new settlement Japan. Hi Okay, so we're gonna bring our scout home and See where we want to settle because we don't okay. Oh, here's a Scout. I think the, these barbarian scouts are actually people who spawn barbarian villages, so we don't want to go anywhere near that guy. But let's see where we're gonna go. So another place. Okay, so this that's a new that's another one. And we, where, where, I, where I'm thinking I'm putting, I'm thinking I'm putting our place somewhere near uh, our our home. Probably probably over here since it's got oak and cattle, but I don't exactly know if I care about that really. So we're going to. What's our next technology? We're gonna go for mining. Okay, and also next turn we should probably go for. Shouldn't do craftsmanship. Well, we're gonna finish it, of course. But okay, where, where do I put my next city? Honestly, that's actually a that's a that's a big debate here. I don't know where I want to put my next city, so I'll have to keep on considering. We're gonna move a little bit forward and see if there's any resources up ahead or better ones at least. Okay, there we go. Oh, it's the Congo. Hello. Get this guy is cool. Um, I'm gonna keep on moving up because I don't, I don't see any. I see oranges, and that's it. I mean, I like oranges personally, but is it enough to completely make me put a civilization there? I don't Still know, man. Him. So we're gonna go for a new new civic. We're gonna go for political philosophy, even though we had to complete all this crazy stuff just to get to it. We're gonna do it. <clears throat> now I'm thinking. Oh, another one. Another one. Oh my god, look at this. We found like all the city states. Jesus. Okay. 
Okay, so I think we're going to put it here. Actually, hold up. Well, there, there should be a button somewhere which allows me to see all the, like, the yields of one of all the places. Basically, like, uh, what every single tile gives me. And maybe we'll, we might have to move it. We, uh, we'll move them an inch uh, away and then we'll move and find it right there. Because this place has some pretty good stuff. Or at least there, there's resources around it, which I like. I like the fact that there's a... Uh, actually, here, we should probably boost... Okay, we're, we're gonna have to we're gonna have to buy a builder. Honestly, this isn't working. We're gonna have to buy a builder. Oh, and Cleopatra's map. Maybe he's not an army. Okay, cry about it. Uh, you find yourself so here's what I like about it, right? Here's what I like about where I put my city of Esfus. I like that we got citrus. There's cattle near me, and we also got uh, sheep. But that's gonna be given to Sparta. And also we have oak and rainforest. And despite the fact that it doesn't show it, but I don't know why it's not showing. That's actually very weird. It has um. It has more production. That does actually give us production. We can build stuff on there. So now, what should we build? Or what should we resource? We're going to go for bronze working because we don't really have a purpose for the rest of them since there's not many, not much ocean near us. Okay, and Cleopatra hates me as well. Let's see who hates me. So every single nation does not like me. Germany and Egypt, however, despise me. Okay, that sucks. I mean, Germany's not a problem right now. They only get to become a big threat later on. Like in during the medieval and industrial era. And, oh! Hi. Hello. How are you? Oh my god, yeah. The, those guys are dead. I'm sorry. My scout is so dead. Can he? No. Okay. That's a problem. <clears throat> now you see, I want to get drama and poetry, yeah, but I can't do that yet. I gotta, I gotta finish a couple things, you know. As I was thinking on doing early, I'm, where am I moving? Uh, I was thinking on doing early Empire, but I realized that's not very, you know, useful to me. And I feel like building, I feel like we messed up a little bit here because you see, if you mess up in the early game, you can lose. I kind of am at a chance of losing right now, as you can see. I kind of wasted my time building the hang gardens. I feel like I could have built more builders to put, you know, stuff on the stone. And oh, there we go. Okay. <clears throat> well, thank God we just found a Eureka to finish uh, early Empire. And now, oh. Actually, it seems that building the hang gardens is not, in fact, a waste of our time, but rather a very important uh, use of our time. Because once we build it, half of drum and poetry will be done, and we don't have to spend 22 turns, uh, you know, wasting our time doing that. So that'll be good. Okay, now it seems that Egypt has a lot of science. Okay, that's a problem, since they're already in the class layer. <laughs> okay. See, <clears throat> here's a little mechanic in the game that I haven't told you guys about yet. If you have a non-combatant unit, like a, like a settler, and you get a, a, a unit that can initiate combat, you can actually capture other units. So I'm thinking we declare a surprise war on Germany, and we steal this guy, which is what we're going to do right now. Okay. Come here. Oh! Hi! Oh! I, I didn't see you, boys! Hello? Well, you know what? We're founding a city right here, and Germany's not going to do anything about it. Actually, they might destroy it. <laughs> Jesus. Okay, so they might actually destroy the city, which isn't good. We're going to probably found it right here. And uh, there'll be, it'll be a nice city. We're going to have our sandal wood, and we're going to have elephants, maybe. We'll, we'll steal those from, the ascent to the high you know, we'll steal those from, stairs, from the Byzantines. And at their side, a water oh, engine. I like when you build World Wonder. See, it's very fun watching all them be created. The purpose, it's very nice. Continually employed. I also like the little narration the quotes that you get into the garden. when you build it. And let me drink some water real quick. Alright, we're back. Now, look at that. We barely even researched drama and poetry, and now we're almost done. Very, very, very nice. And also, we got this cool little building, too. So now we're going to begin building more stuff. We'll probably build... Hmm. This is a hard choice here. First, we're set... Well, we're, we're founding the city of Corneth. Alright. So there, the Germans are now probably very upset at me right now, which, you know, obviously, they're upset. I just built a city right in front of their capital. And uh, I don't have any units to defend it, which is very bad. However, I will soon because I'm going to have hoplites. Uh, but for now, let's build... Hmm. That's actually a hard choice here. Let's build a campus right here. Actually, right here. You see, this is something, right? 
Here's there's also something called adjacency bonuses. Now you see you get you get bonuses for um your buildings if they're right next to things. For example, here I get plus two science bonus because I have two rainforests. And I also get plus one science for the mountain tile right next to me. So we're going to be building our campus here, and we'll be done. And we're, we're going to be getting more science so we can research faster. That's what science does, obviously. Now let's see what we can do now. Let's build here. Let's build a, let's build a slinger. I, I don't know, man, you know. Let's hit the scout. Let's, 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 let's go explore Germany. We're going to go burn down Germany for a little bit. We're going to walk, and we're going to burn their fields. Sorry, Basile. Uh, we're gonna be selling even closer. I'm also interested in Sorry, bro. Alright, let's let's look at these hoplites. Can we build these? Yes, we can. 21 turns. Ooh, that's not good. 16 turns. Ah, I like that. Now let's build masonry, and we're gonna do some big trolling on Germany. Oh, can we pillage? We can't pillage. That's another mechanic I like, pillaging. Basically, you can go up to an enemy, um, they're called improvements, like a farm, and you can pillage it. You can basically burn down this, this thing, right? And here we go, look at the, our builders finally come, so maybe s -Swiss can actually do something good. And here's the Pantheon. So if you make it on faith, you can get a Pantheon. And usually this will help you in, in your religion, but we're not going for a religion this game, so we're just going to get something that helps us just anyway. So we're gonna probably going to do either Monument to Gods or Divine Spark. Uh, actually, Divine Spark will help us more later in the Culture Victory, and Monument to Gods will only hit temporarily help us, so, you know. We're, we'll build a, an actual monument here, you know, very nice. Because you see, the Monument of the Gods, right, it's a very good one. However, it'll only help us for a little bit. Because once the Ancient and Classic Era is done, it's not going to help us anymore. Because all, all the wonders are probably going to be built, right? Oh my god, look at that iron in Corneth. Very nice. Do we have iron in any of our other settlements? No, but we have one iron. This, this, this is going to be good. Now we're going to burn down this little thing here. Sorry. But we do, it's called we do a little bit of trolling, you know. We're going to build... A farm right here, even though we're going to build another one right there in, in a couple seconds. And so we expand to this place. I shouldn't have built a farm, actually. I feel a bit stupid for that, but that's okay. Uh, we're going to, because we can, we're going to build a bunch of stuff here. We're going to build this, this, and there we go. Very nice. Now, we're going to work you know, over the cattle, because that will give us uh, more production in the city. Let's see what you all see as you're building. Oh, it looks like you're building Stonehenge. Hmm. Seems that Germany is trying to get a religious victory. This is, this is oh, and also we gotta capture that builder and burn down that thing. Oh dang, they're almost on Stonehenge. Oh no, I can't let that happen. So you see, here's the thing, right? <clears throat> with uh, with religion and with wonders, this wonder you see, Stonehenge help is the best wonder for religious victory. It basically allows you to almost just get the religious victory, not religious, victory, but it allows you to start a religion instantly, way before anyone else. Basically, what the uh, Stonehenge does is, and is it gives you what's known as a great prophet. You see, great people here will help you start. Uh, will help you with abilities. What we want is we want great writers, artists, and musicians. These are the dudes who will give us great works, which we can put in museums, and they'll give us culture. Uh, the people of religion want uh, great prophets, and it seems that Japan's gonna get one. But basically, here they're gonna get one probably like in two turns, uh, and Germany might get one next turn if they complete. Uh, if they complete what they're building, Stonehenge, because they get a great profit for free. And let's get a library up. Also, if you're wondering how to get great people, you need great people points, which basically great people points will, uh, you know, basically you have to build buildings, right? Like uh, this can this library it says plus one great scientist per turn. If we build the amphitheaters and necropolises, we'll get, you know, we'll get these guys, right? I mean, sorry, only uh, we'll get great writers. So here, let's start off <coughs> by building another builder. He's going to be going over here. He's going to be improving stuff. And then we're actually going to find a port city after we get that guy. We're going to find a port city. Oh, did I, oh dang, I didn't get this builder. We're going to go We're going to go chase after this guy. We're going to go capture the builder. Man, stop running away. Okay, so this guy, is, he's running far. He's home free. We're not going to get him. We're not going to get him. Unless we go farther. Or we when could just. War shall statue the we, we could get him. We could get him. There he is. All right, we got him. Very nice. Oh, who is this? Yerevan. Okay. Well, you know what? That's ours now. We're gonna bring this builder home, and we're gonna go mess up whatever the, whatever Germany's trying to do right now. And now we're gonna work on sailing since we're gonna be building a port city. New civic. Okay, drama and poetry. That's what I want. Now we want political philosophy. And look at that. We got a bunch of uh. 
Eureka's for culture. That's going to help us a lot. We want political philosophy because here's what's going to happen, right? Then we get to choose a new government. What we're going to choose, I don't know yet. I'm thinking oligarchy because it gives us plus two, uh, it gives us two military slots. And that will help us, you know, become stronger because, you know, Queen Gorgo's ability. Yes. And we're going to be coming back here. I think Jeremy's about to finish Stonehenge next turn. Oh, yep, look at that. They finished it. Now, the world wonders, right? Once a nation finishes building it, you can't get it anymore. Now, what we build here is a is big question, right? Do we build the Acropolis or do we build the pyramids? Because see, I've, I don't want to waste my time, right? But at the same time, the pyramids are one of the best wonders in the game, and I don't want to lose them, you know? It's kind of like a, like a, you know, it's a really great uh, great ability because here's, here's what they do, right? What it does is it gives you a free builder, which is okay, you know, but what it, but it's other ability. It allows builders to build one extra tile because once a builder builds three different things, like three different farms or whatever, they disappear. However, this lets them do it one extra time. So it's a very good wonder, which is why when we go, which is kind of why I just think of it, I kind of regret doing, um, I kind of regret not doing the miners of the gods. And also, we're going to keep on burning down Germany's stuff here, because, you know, we sure got to do it. It's called we do a little bit of trolling. So we're going to go over here, and we're going to keep on burning their stuff. We are not attacking their settlement, because that's just, that's just silly, you know. We're going we're to die doing that. And let's build, let's get archers ready, you know. And we're going to bring this guy home. Hopefully it doesn't get captured, which is why I'm going to be killing these, uh, these dudes. We're going to be, we're going to be walking over here. We're going to be, boom. There we go, look at that. That's an extra turn down. People are lazy and unworthy. What? What? Bro, look at this. We're leading in science. What are you talking about? What are you talking about, Basile? You're crazy, man. You're crazy, dude. We can't build an Acropolis for some reason. What? Why not? Can only be built on hills. Do we have any hills nearby? Oh, we have no hills. What? I didn't know the Acropolis should only be built on hills. What is this? This is terrible. Wait, 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 wait. What? I thought this was hills. No, it's just grassland. Ah, this is terrible. Okay, for now we're just gonna build a, a hoplite, maybe. Actually, we, we should probably build something way better. Uh, no, a hoplite has. I'll, I'll have to. I'll have to be for now. Now I'm I'm getting worried because I know the scouts walking about. I don't want them to capture my builder. Or, yeah, so we're gonna build a we're gonna build another mine over here, which gives us production, and. I feel like we should build a summit over where this iron is. It is Actually, no, we cool. can't do that. We gotta, we gotta go out here and build where this iron is. And also, where the crab and limestone and sea urchins are. We'll get a lot of stuff from that. <clears throat> so we're gonna be doing that soon. And now, oh, there we go. Okay, there's their great prophet. Zoroaster, okay. So he's over He's over in our, our place. I don't, I don't know what he's doing over here. And we have burnt down what looks to be their strawberry farm. And we're gonna go pillage whatever this is. We're gonna make sure they can't build it. I... I'm a bit confused how we... Okay, never mind. How we got over here. I swear we were just at the... Oh, okay. So it seems that they're now shooting at us. Are those barbarians or are those Germans? I well, shot no difference and... anyway. Okay, so... We gotta go find all their other farms. <coughs> Sorry, and go burn those down. Because if we don't... Okay, it looks like our guy's gonna die next to him. Very sad. Rest in peace, dude. Oh, we got a hoplet. Alright, we're moving in and we're gonna start killing these guys. Because these hoplets are super powerful. So, you know, we gotta, we gotta go do that now. Uh, but however, we're not going to get another hoplite. We're actually going to get walls here, so whenever any unit comes nearby, uh, you know, from any other civilization, we're just going to shoot them. So that's what the walls allow you to do. The walls make your city super powerful, and also they allow you to shoot at, um, they allow, to, they allow you to get an ability called City Range Strike, which basically gets your city and it shoots, uh, arrows at enemy cities. Now, we can't burn anything down yet, but we're going to be moving this guy over to Germany now. He's going to the, to Germany. He's going to take him down. Now let's build another farm over here. And now this guy, we don't, we don't really need to build another farm, so we'll probably save his one build for when we pull up over here. And we do some other stuff there. We don't really have anything left to build, so we're probably actually... Uh, we, oh, don't have enough money. It's very sad. All right, he goes to sleep now. I, I don't want to waste spots, so... God, I hope they don't... Ah, oh, they killed my guy. Yeah, they're going to pay for that one right now. Come here. I hope they don't run away and start shooting us. That would be annoying. But let's just go fight this. The scouts are really annoying. Sometimes they're super powerful, and they they just they kill you really easily. So they're they're kind of annoying sometimes. Hopefully we can fight him. 
and let's let's build the pyramids and then let's actually end this episode and go for another one uh later on i think we'll see how long this video's been recording for okay 30 minutes yeah let, let's let's finish up the pyramids and then next video we'll conquer germany hopefully all right let's uh let's pull this guy up to germany more and let's hope this all right which one is this hoplite attack and that's actually a good choice so we, we don't want to attack here because they have a river defense right so we're going to attack this guy the archers all right good dude we got a couple other guys and now the oh what what i don't even know what he just said okay well we're gonna attack the scout since the it seems the archers run away so we're gonna go kill this guy we don't want to fight that with the warriors are there because those guys are pretty powerful so oh ah no they broke the pyramids why okay this is another little thing i want to tell you about so you see other nations can actually steal your wonders because the wonders are available for everyone to build. There's no unique wonder to any nation, right? And you see, other y nations can build uh, world wonders, and if they build them before you, it'll disappear. But you get all the production value back. So now we can build. We have one turn to really build anything we want. So I'll say we build a settler so we can you know, push up there more. But I'm thinking instead, actually, no, we'll build the settler. That, that's the settler, two turns for a settler. That's actually pretty good. So instead of you know, ending the video once we find the pyramids, because obviously we can't, uh, we are going to, who built it? Okay, we don't even know who built it. But here we go. We have a new government. And now we're going to go for mysticism. Ooh. Actually, why are we doing that? We can go for this instead. Which is going to, oh, sorry about that. Uh, Burp to Rosant grants flanking. Now, can we attack their city? That would that would get us, you know, big boo boos. So we're not doing that. Who are we gonna attack now? There's auto. I mean, we can do who? Sorry, what will be our new government? I don't want to do classical republic, since I want military policies. I don't want to do autocracy is pretty good. However, oligarchy would be good for right now, right? Because then we can get about six extra combat strength for all of our units, right? Because four here, yeah, and then five, six for the military policies, Goro's ability. And for now, because I want to change it later, I want to change it to Autocracy the, for the Wonder Production. However, um, we're going to do Oligarchy because we have to destroy Germany. And we're going to do this ability here, which is actually the, the name for the Greek Spartan training. So we can get our uh, Hoplites to train 50% faster, and now we're going to look for something else. What are we going to do now? Hmm... One person else it is. Let's swap this one for production towards settlers. Let's take this plus one production out. And let's instead do this conscription. So we lose money from units, right? We only have one. Okay. Uh, we're going to have a lot soon. So there we go. And also more combat strength for me, which is even better. Look how much damage I do. Plus three combat. Oh, there you go. Now we have seven. Okay. It's very nice. So we're going to keep on pushing there. And we're going to get our settler done. And we're going to push up to make a new city. Very nice. I'm Basile's mad at me. What did he say? What? Okay, he wants to kill me because I settled in a region he says is his. Oh, yeah. I, Sometimes I did do that. Hmm. Sorry. Well, he's pretty mad at me. He wants to actually kill me now. That's that's upsetting, but eh, guess what? I do not care because I'm getting walls and Basile will never stop me when I have walls. So we're going to send all our boys up there. And also, Corneth will become a, a hoplite manufacturing facility for us. And now we're going to be getting horseback riding. Because horses are pretty good. How much? Look at this. Combat strength. Only 28 for the hoplites. But 36 for horses. That's pretty good. And now we're going to build Necropolis. We have nowhere where we can boost it. So we're just going to build it there. And we're going to start pushing this guy up. However, thank God the Congo isn't mad at me. Or else they would capture all my units. I'm going to try to make friends with these guys. Alright, so it seems that now we're just killing uh, their defenders. And, oh, wait, promotion development. Thank God. Oh, Gandhi. Hi, Gandhi. He's going to hate me. Oh. Bro. What the hell, Basile? Got me, Surem? No. Stop. Please. Okay, so it seems that he's coming for me, and he's going to kill me very soon. So now we gotta build up an army and start killing both of them. Either that, or we can probably make peace. Yeah, let's, yeah, let's make peace with Germany. They probably... Okay, Germany's happy to make peace. Because, you see, all we wanted from Germany was we wanted that settler, and that's all we got. Now we gotta deal with other agree. So, you know, much like 
Greece, you know, all history always repeats itself. We always fight for things. For no, we always fight against each other for no reason. Until a bigger enemy comes. That's just how Greeks work. That's how they've always worked. Now, let's, and that seems we're doing it again, so. <clears throat> oh, Cleopatra met me too. Let me, let me try to make some friendships here with some of these people because uh, it seems that everyone has met me. Also, they declared war on Hattusa. No! Those are my boys! Okay, so it seems that uh, we're defending against Basile, who's got a whole army surrounding Corneth. All we need to do is hold out for eight Bravery. turns. We need to hold, hold out for eight turns, and then we are good. And we are, in fact, chilling. Can we buy any units to just, like, stall? Uh, we can't. Okay. We need to hold out for seven turns, which, at this point, given the fact that they have two archers coming for us, I really don't know if that's possible. So, we're going to have to move as many boys as we can down as possible. We're going to be running down there. And we're pushing the sill up, and we got to defend... We gotta defend our place at- Oh no! No way! Wait, wait! Please! No! The barbarians are here and they're coming! Uh, God, look at all this stuff, dude. Corners is gonna be taken from us. No! Please stop! God damn. Oh, look at this. We're losing. We're losing. We are losing. Oh no. Yep, they're coming. They're about to take the city. Look at this. The Corneth the is under siege. And I think next turn- I think- Yeah, next turn they'll probably have it yoinked completely. So we gotta push up on them harder, because yeah, if we don't get there, and if we don't save Corneth by next turn, it's theirs. It's theirs. They, 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 they have it, you know? And now it seems that we can't even pass through any of these settlements, it's everyone else has them influence. So we gotta push up hard. And I would have found a port city, but these barbarians are here, you know, that's a big annoyance for me. So we're gonna probably make horsemen, and we're gonna move them really fast down there. We're probably gonna try to retake the city, because the cities are still weak, you know? The same thing, this whole military here. However, all these units are somewhat weak against us, so maybe we have a chance. But all of our swordsmen are dead. Rest in peace, Greek men. And now the city is just being like it's getting its ass handed to by the Cornithians. I mean, not sorry, the Cornithians are actually getting their asses handed to. We we got one of their guys, but we just got crunk to death. And now look at this. They took it. It now belongs to the Byzantines. But guess what? We're taking it back, bitch. So we're making more hoplites, because we have to. And now we're moving down, and we're going to influence Hattusa, and they're going to become our boys. Hattusa's our boys now. Oh, God, no. Egypt's trying to take them. We found Egypt, though. It's okay, though, and we're going to move. Germany's mad. First. Why are you mad? Why are you mad, Germany? Why are you mad? Okay. we got to make friends with people. Gandhi, be my friend. Fuck you. Okay. Congo, be my friend. What? Japan, be our friend. God, your anime sucks. Okay. Uh, Germany, be my friend. <gasps> what? They, they, they don't, they don't want to be my friend. Okay. Okay. This is big, big problem, everyone. Big, big problem. Mysticism. Okay, we gotta go again. We gotta go again here. All right, we're gonna found this city. We're gonna go fast because we, we can't die here, you know. Oh, it seems the Congo cleared out the guy for us. All right, Kabul. What can they do? Uh, ooh, who, who, who do we want? Cultural. Who's who's influenced this one? Gandhi and Asinga. All right. Uh, hmm. Yeah, this is a hard choice here. Basile is influencing Toronto. Zanabar. So oh, it says we got a boy in Zanabar. Uh. They gotta save us money, right? Yeah. We're gonna go influence Kabul because they give us they give us military stuff and whatnot. We still can't pass through. We're gonna deal with uh, Frederick Barbarossa open borders. Oh my God, he wants our money. Fine, fine. Okay, because I, I I'm pretty much desperate for the open borders with him because we need to pass through. You know, we need to get our boys through so we can take back Corneth. Because the city hasn't fully healed yet, so we can just walk in there. And Japan is now wanting to open borders with the city. Alright, cool. Hey, Germany likes me. Alright, cool. Oh, they're building another settler, though, and I want to declare war so bad, but I gotta resist the urge, alright? And they have their entire, like, grand army surrounding uh, my one hoplite, so we're going to get that boy out of there. Let's found the city. Alright. Bergamon. Let's buy some tiles. No! I don't have enough for the rest of them. Building a builder. And he's gonna go on the ocean. He's gonna give us stuff. 
We're gonna, we're gonna go establish uh, this crab tile here because that's actually a pretty good one. And now, oh no, we we gotta, we gotta take them over fast because if he, here's the thing, right? If we don't take them over fast enough, they'll they're gonna build our walls. They're gonna complete the walls that we started building, and they're gonna take it from us. So we're gonna see what happens. Uh, we'll we'll take like two more turns, and then we're gonna end this episode right here. Um, we gotta keep on marching boys down, and we're gonna build another farm here just for more population. And what, are we, what else are we gonna build? We're gonna build some nice stuff. We're gonna build a um, trader. Yes. We're gonna go in the water. We're gonna build a crab boat. And then Pergamon will have some production and who? Barbarians. <sighs> Very sad. Alright, Corneth, give me. Give me Corneth. Give me Corneth. This is a great city, too. And they're gonna kill that one guy next turn, so we gotta be careful. We gotta we gotta rush everyone down before they can because when they construct those walls, we're done for, you know. What All right, all right, everyone's liking me now, everyone's like, but, uh, here's the question, right? Oh, right? These warriors are gonna die, right? But we gotta, we gotta go, we gotta, we gotta rush the city. Go, go, get them, get them, get them, get them, boys, let's go! No, get them! Woo! Damn, okay, he, he died for a good cause right there, that's beautiful. Pushing down farther. Okay, but for some reason now it says there will be 50, th okay, there we go, we fixed it. Uh, uh, for some reason, I have the the Byzantine Empire's uh, theme music playing, but I hope they don't finish this. Okay, oh, they left. It's ours again. We got the city. The reconquest of Corneth is back, baby. Woo! We did it. We're building this wall. We're finishing the wall. Forty turns. What? Forty? What the hell is this? Oh well, you know what? Actually. You know, it's probably because the entire city is on fire, but maybe, maybe not. But anyway, we're, we're, we're uh, ending the video now. We're going to go conquer the Byzantines next turn. I'm so sorry for this, uh, but, you know, just... Oh, God, I, I felt so Turkish in saying that, but I, I didn't mean to. Having oh. a is very what, Gandhi? From actually using it. Understandable. Thank you, Gandhi. Thank you. Okay, but you know what? We're going we're gonna to hold this one Spartan. Everything this one guy, he's going to be holding down... The fort here, and uh, he's gonna be fortifying. We're not letting them take back Corneth ever again. And okay, let's just move all our boys down. And uh, we're gonna we're gonna end this video now. Thank you all so much for watching. It was very fun. I will see you all in the next video. Goodbye.